Welcome back. Well, we've heard all four tales, so we should be able to answer the questions from the guard. Um, I wonder though, I don't remember if you can tell Nima about the response from Isam. Hi, Nima. Hi, April. Bye, Nima. Goodbye, April. Apparently not. Okay, let's just talk to the guard then. Are you ready for the questions now? You bet. Yes, ask me the questions. In the Tale of Winds, which mountain did Iwana fall from in her vain attempt to fly higher and further than anyone else? Well, we don't actually need to uh, remember it because we get the proper order, the proper answers in the uh, multiple choice. Mount Bakhtaana, the Tower of Light. That is correct. In the Tale of Stars, what did Mona see in the sky that helped her find her way home? The spirits of five tellers. That is correct. In the Tale of Sea, what creature did the Lost One battle in his quest to recover the sacred jewel? The Octavo? That is correct. My final question to you is this. In the Tale of Homecoming, what was given to Moran by his teller when he returned from his pilgrimage? A broken pot. A broken pot to teach him that absence may break a heart in two. You have correctly answered all my questions and so have proven your knowledge of the four tales. You are the Windbringer. The teller would see you presently. Okay. Well, let's go in and talk to this teller. She looks old. She's the teller. She must be over a hundred years old. You have no idea how old the Alation can get. Maybe they have an average age of 40 and she's 45 or something like that. You don't know. Don't jump to conclusions, April. Come closer, human. Closer. I cannot see your face. Closer still. Come sit here by me. There you are. <laughs> you see, my eyes are not what they used to be. Ages ago, I could spot a ladybug crawling up a straw of grass from 15 tree lengths up. Now, I have a hard time seeing my supper. But my ears, balance be praised, my ears, they are as good as ever. I could hear you outside, learning the tales my children tell. You are a good listener and a fast learner. They were interesting stories and your people told them well. That is what we do. The Alation are the keepers of the tales, and I am their teller, the one who must know all the tales told since the day we came to this world. How can you do that? How can you remember every story ever told? The secret is to tell them often and to tell them in your own words, not the words of your ancestors. Doesn't that mean that the stories change with every generation? Yes, as all tales must. Change is important. Otherwise, the tales will have no meaning to us. They will just be words. And we do not care about the words. We care about what the words tell us. And she sounds exactly like the old woman at the beginning. And that's not a hint or anything. It's just because they use the same voice actress. How long have your people been telling stories? Since the beginning, human. Since we came to this world a long, long time ago. You're not from Earth? From Arcadia? 
Not according to our tales. We came on a great wind before the divide, when the earth was one and humans had yet to learn of magic and science. But we were a different people then, and the tales we tell from that time are vague and incomplete. Like myths and legends, the younger relation pay little attention to these tales. Sometimes I worry they will be lost with me, these tales, and I am getting old, very old. If you'd write stuff down instead of trying to remember everything, maybe you wouldn't have this problem. I came to you to find answers to some important questions. Ask, and I will try my best to answer. Well, we need to ask uh, her about things that we wanted to go to Elias for in the first place, of course. Have you heard of an ancient god or dragon that lives beneath the sea? Once, long ago, when my people lived in harmony with the Merim, there were stories of an old god worshipped by the Merim who resided deep in the darkest depths of the ocean. According to legend, the old god had once brought the Merim into their realm, into the ocean and he was now sleeping, resting, before the journey back. Back where? To a great ocean amongst the stars. When the time came, he would gather the Merim and bring them home with him, back to their world, to their ocean. Strangely enough, we have a similar tale. It is said that the great wind that brought us here will someday return to bring us back to a place where we can soar forever on warm winds. That's because you're the same people. Like heaven. In a way, perhaps. But without the need for any of us to die, the great wind will just sweep us up and carry us away. Every evening before I go to sleep, I recite this tale to myself. It is a comforting one. <laughs> 